Now let us see the next uh, table. Complete the following table. So in the table, the first column is number. Now whether you have to now here check whether the number can be shown as the line, then rectangle. then square then triangle so here we take the different numbers such as 2 3 4 6 then 7 and so on so we can take any number now we know that every number can be shown as the geometrical shape of line made up of dots so we can write 2 can be shown as the line and 3 also can be shown as the line so every number can be shown as the line so we can write yes in the line column now rectangle now 2 cannot be shown as a rectangle so we write no and now whether 2 can be shown as a square or not so 2 cannot be shown as a square so here also no and 2 cannot be shown as a triangle no next now 3 whether 3 can be shown as a rectangle or not so 3 cannot be shown as a rectangle so we write no and 3 cannot be shown as the square and 3 cannot be shown as the 3 can be shown as a triangle so there are 3 dots so 3 can be shown as a triangle so we write yes and 4 can be shown as a line and 4 can be shown as a rectangle and 4 can be shown as a square and 4 cannot be shown as a triangle next 5 can be shown as a line Phi cannot be shown as the rectangle and phi cannot be shown as the square or phi can be shown as the triangle or not let us see this now so first we'll take one two three then we take four five but we need one more dot so we cannot show now next six can be shown as the line and 6 can be shown as the rectangle yes now 6 can be 6 cannot be shown as the square now 6 can be shown as the triangle yes so this is 6 next 7 can be shown as the line and 7 can be shown as the cannot be shown as a rectangle now 7 cannot be shown as the square and even 7 cannot be shown as the triangle. Now which number can be shown as only line? So we can say that the number 2 which number can be shown as only line so that is 2 and which numbers can be shown as rectangles 
so the numbers which are shown as rectangles are 6 8 10 and so on now which numbers can be shown as squares now the numbers which can be shown as squares are 4, 9 etc so 4, 9 and 16 and so on now the next question which numbers can be shown as triangles so the numbers which can be shown as triangles are 3, 6 and so on now let's see the next topic patterns observation Now, if you want to add, for example, 117 plus 9, so then this equals to 117 plus 9 can be written as 10 minus 1. So then if you group 117, if you group 117 plus 10, then we get 118, then minus 1 equals to 117 plus 10, 127. minus 1 is 126 now if you want to subtract 9 from 117 so minus 9 so this equals to 117 so this minus 9 can be written as minus 10 plus 1 so this equals to 117 minus 10 is 107 and plus 1 equals to 106 now 117 minus 10 plus 1 equals to 117 minus 10 is 107 plus 1 equals to 108. Now we can use so 117 plus 99 equals to so 117 plus 99 can be written as 100 minus 1 equals to 117 plus 100 is 217 minus 1 equals to 216 so then we can do even the subtraction minus 99 equals to 117 so minus 99 can be written as minus 100 plus 1 so this equals to 117 minus 100 is 17 plus 1 equals to 18 so we can use the Simplifications easily by writing while adding 9, 99, 999 or while subtracting 9, 99 and 999 to the given number. Now, we can use also the distributive property while simplifying, while multiplying any larger number by the number such as 9, 99 and 999. For example, 215 into 9, so this can be written as 215 into 9 means 10 minus 1. So here we can use the distributive property 215 into 10 minus 215 into 1. So here we can easily multiply 215 and 10, 215 and 1, then we can subtract. So if you want to multiply 215 by 99, so then this can be written as 215 into 99 means 100 minus 1 so this equals to 215 into 100 minus 215 into 1 so here also we can multiply 215 by 100 and 215 by 1 then we can subtract so here we can use the distributivity of multiplication over subtraction if you like this video please give a thumbs up
please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.